There is an animal with a legend that exists across several cultures and continents. It is the story of Yeti, sometimes referred to as the Abominable Snowman. Despite the fact that there has been no substantial proof or evidence to support the existence of this animal, countless numbers of people believe quite strongly that it exists and lurks in the shadows, avoiding human contact. Stories of this mysterious, gigantic-sized ape have continued to stand the test of time as it exists in folklore of several communities, especially in southern Asia. These stories have sparked several waves of adventure in search of the notorious giant. Yeti is often depicted by locals as a dangerous mountain man who stands at twice the height of an average human and has a muscular build which is covered in reddish-brown or dark grayish hair. It is estimated to weigh as much as 1,000 pounds, about half a ton. This legend is so sensational to the extent that there have been movies featuring this legendary creature. With such a legend enduring several thousands of years, how did it originate? And where can this creature possibly be found? The legend of Yeti is believed to have originated among the Tibetan people thousands of years ago. According to National Geographic, it is believed that the legend then spread to Nepal as far back as the 16th century via the Sherpa people, in which descendants of families who emigrated from the Kams region of Tibet continued to spread the myth as they traveled through the Himalayan range. As a result, Yeti is believed to live in the Himalayas, with the Himalayas being a vast mountain range which serves as a demarcation between the Tibetan Plateau to the northern part of the rich alluvial plains of the Indian subcontinent to the south. This mountain range stretches for about 2,500 kilometers, that's approximately 1,550 miles, from its western point to its eastern point, while from north to south, it measures between 200 and 400 kilometers, about 125 and 250 miles, covering approximately 595,000 square kilometers or 230,000 square miles. Apart from its humongous size, the Himalayas is also home to some of the highest points on Earth. These include the highest peak on Earth, the famous Mount Everest, which stands at a staggering height of a bit over 29,000 feet, that's about 8,850 meters. Given the enormous size of this area and the arduous, difficult-to-navigate nature, it is understandable why so many still believe that the Yeti might be more than a myth. There have been a great number of adventurers, search parties, scientists, and others who have tried over the centuries to validate the existence of an actual Yeti. The oldest, according to National Geographic, is attributable to Alexander the Great, who, in 326 BC, on his campaign to conquer the Indus Valley, asked the locals of that territory to bring a live Yeti for him to see. The people replied they cannot because the Yeti survives only at very high altitudes, which folklore peg at between 14,000 and 20,000 feet. That's about 4,270 to 6,100 meters. Another popular attempt to authenticate the existence of this mysterious creature happened in 1921 when, according to BBC, British explorers went on an exploratory expedition to Mount Everest. This group of explorers happened to be interviewed by a journalist named Henry Newman. In the interview, the explorers affirmed that indeed they did find several large, unusual footprints which their local guides told them were the footprints of Meto Kongmi, which literally means man-bear snowman. Newman, however, wrongly translated the name as abominable snowman, and the media pounced on the name ever since. Another is Anthony Woolridge, a reputable Himalayan hiker who in March 1986 photographed what he believed to have been an unmoving, noiseless yeti standing in the snow close to a ridge which was about 150 meters, that's approximately 500 feet away. 
A year later, researchers discovered that it was a dark rock outcropping which stood erect based on his position. Apart from sightings and stories, there have been evidences and proofs submitted by individuals, search parties, governments, and even a country's army. Sir Edmund Hillary, who was the first person to scale Mount Everest, said he found a helmet-shaped scalp of Yeti. This was later identified by scientists as the skin of a goat-like Himalayan animal called Cerro. In 1976, an Oregon man, Peter Byrne, even got the FBI to test hair and tissue samples of what he believes must be from the Yeti, or the North American version, Bigfoot. The FBI said the samples were from an animal which must have been a member of the deer family. Even the Russian government is not left out as it organized a conference in 2011 composed of a team of researchers claiming to have evidence supporting existence of the Yeti. It claimed it had indisputable proof collected by a team of Bigfoot experts in western Siberia. The group, headed by John Bender Nagel, claimed that they were 95% sure that the nests of twisted tree branches which they saw and gray hairs which they found in a cave belonged to the Yeti. However, another scientist who partook in the expedition said the evidences were fabricated as the nest showed signs of man-made cuts. It is concluded that this must have been a publicity stunt aimed at increasing tourism in the area. Also, in a study conducted on 57 supposed Yeti samples received by Oxford University professor of genetics Brian Sykes in 2013, showed that most were samples from known animals. However, there were two samples from India and Bhutan among the lot which showed 100% correspondence to the jawbone of a Pleistocene polar bear. A reanalysis, however, showed both samples to have belonged to a Himalayan bear. The last evidence we will be considering is that which the Indian army claimed were mysterious footprints of mythical beast Yeti at the Makalu base camp in the Himalayas. Tweeting on 30th of April 2019, the Indian army claimed it came across the samples on the 9th of the same month but it had to be sure before going public. Many on social media, of course, took it as a joke. There are sightings, evidences, and apparent proofs by people that are too numerous to examine in this video. One fact remains, however, there once really lived a 10-foot or 3 meters tall ape called Gigantopithecus, which lived in parts of where the Yeti is currently supposed to be living, namely Southeast Asia and Southern China. Being the largest ape that ever lived on Earth, it is deservedly named as it is estimated to have weighed about 500 to 700 kilograms, that's 1,100 to 1,540 pounds. It became extinct around 100,000 years. Another scholarly suggestion by the Oxford geneticist Sykes and his colleagues to explain the mysterious Yeti folklore is that there may have been a hybrid bear from the crossbreeding of the polar bear and the brown bear. Such a hybrid would have been large and terrifying, but without hard, tangible proof, no one can really say what the Yeti is, that is, if it did or does exist in the first place. Whatever the case may be, it may not be all the while futile to keep the flame of the search for Yeti burning. Who knows what might turn up? At least there have been large animals such as the Asian unicorn, which were unknown until 1992. Given how mysterious the Himalayas is, we never can tell what incredible creatures may have stayed hidden in that vast, impassable mountain range. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and comment below.